The exhibition facing the technosphere is um, about tensions uh, caused by the technosphere in between technosphere, biosphere and lithosphere. Lithosphere being the earth crust from which we extract stones and minerals. And um, the technosphere basically is all human-made stuff uh, that enables our modernist lifestyle. And uh, actually half of the technosphere is made up of concrete. And uh, so concrete is also the starting point uh, for all of the works in this exhibition. And um, which is basically divided in two parts. One is about direct confrontations between different agents of the spheres, involved spheres. And the other uh, part of the show is about complicated calculations, transformations and conversions. And those two different groups also, it's, it's owed to, to my thought process about uh, uh, contemporary uh, attempts to overcome the old classical uh, logic of oppositions in, uh, in philosophical thinking, like the nature-culture divide, which is, according to Rosie Bredotti and Donna Haraway, more a nature-culture continuum these days. But in the first group of works, where two representatives or agents are directly confronted with each other, um, concrete is, uh, as, a, as an agent of the technosphere, is in one case cast directly by me, in another case it's a, it's a piece of a landfill, a uh, concrete trash, basically. And in the other case, I took two um, uh, existing concrete infrastructures and uh, made an imprint of the surface. Uh, so it's a small, uh, small um, sample of uh, two different realities, let's say a contemporary modern formwork of a, of a infrastructure in Vienna, a city, city highway, actually it's a column. And the second one we have uh, a detail from a bunker of the Second World War from the oil industry. So both elements are actually very much connected to the fossil system. Um, and uh, so this is the basic setup of the exhibition, both two different groups of works, one very complex, uh, lots of transformations and conversions, and the other one direct confrontations. And uh, I would like to start with a more detailed description of the work Fossil Continuum, which is um, starting with the piece of limestone hidden behind this concrete. Um, this piece of limestone is uh, looking very natural, but actually it's the first step of an industrial product. It, it's been burst out of a limestone mountain. It's 15 million years old, quite young for a stone. It's made up of uh, red algae fossils. And um, it's from the quarry where actually the cement industry is um, extracting the limestone to produce cement. And um, so this is my way of um, questioning this nature-culture divide by confronting the viewer also with a piece that looks very natural, but actually it's already industrial. And the agent of the technosphere, this piece of concrete that is cracking, is more a representation of the failed technosphere than a representation of the real technosphere. Um, the other work right next to it is called Bind and uh, it's a chunk of concrete from a landfill which I divided uh, with uh, my drill into smaller pieces and um, stuck it in a freshly cast cube of a wax mixture. This wax mixture consists of um, beeswax, wood tar that makes it dark, 
uh, and software. This mixture is for me actually a representation of biomass, um, but not 100% because there's also paraffin wax inside. Um, then I cast this cube the day before I stuck the concrete rubble inside. So internally the mix was still at blood temperature and that's the reason why um, the wax bulged out or bulged in this uh, specific way, uh, which reminds us a bit of a belly, a pregnant belly, thus symbolizing uh, Gaia, but also showing uh, astonishing flexibility of the biosphere to adjust to the rigidity of the technosphere. Those two works are uh, connected to the last work, Bind. Uh, they are marks f of that same uh, chunk of concrete rubble um, um, and imprinted into the same wax mixture representing biomass. But it has been completely heated to uh, human blood temperature. Um, and this way it really uh, is able to to show lots of details of this concrete uh, rubble and uh, even as you can see in the details it even shows uh, or it, a lot of the concrete stuck in the in the wax mix and uh, so it shows the entanglement of those two um, spheres. The work Touch Fragments, or those two groups of works, both titled Touch Fragments, uh, which relate to existing concrete infrastructures, um, are a bit more complex. I uh, took an imprint in silicone rubber uh, directly on site, then took this uh, kind of stolen reality back to my studio, made a counter imprint, so hence it's a neg uh, positive again, uh, with the translucent rubber, which I then uh, took to the darkroom and uh, made contact prints on analog photo paper. So it's uh, silver gelatina prints without camera. That's why you see uh, everything where the rubber directly touched the photographic paper. Everything is very sharp and crisp. And the, the holes in the concrete, uh, the, the bubbles and the, the, that show the gravel, they are out of focus because they, they are like one centimeter away from the paper. And uh, you can see that here. This is the second element of this installation. Um, it's uh, made of cast iron. It's the same relief, the same uh, surface structure that I that I took. The positive again, I brought this uh, as a seven centimeter thick piece of rubber to the um, iron caster and asked him to um, to go through his regular industrial process. And this way, uh, I lost a lot of information because he had to sandblast it. Um, get it out of the sand mold and um, but this piece I in the end used to uh, to stamp into pure beeswax as you can see behind and this um, this uh, pieces of pure beeswax um, also don't bear all of the traces of the original um, um, Piece, uh, which would have been possible if I used only casting methods, but this stamping and imprinting uh, by a uh, complicated uh, process uh, results in, in this kind of representation. These conversions and, and, and 
different materials touching each other um, for me was uh, a way to to deal with overcoming the logic of oppositions uh, in in this compl complex calculating thinking process of what's the real impact of the technosphere to the biosphere and actually we have to calculate all these things we can't do it by directly touching so the work is also called touch fragments because it's like okay there's one element touching the next but actually this needs to touch another one and another one and another one until we uh, uh, receive the final result this new series uh, of works is called uh, they are all individually called chase being a, a term for these frames, which uh, have been used in the printing industry uh, when they still used uh, movable lead type to print books and this in the for, for the format A4. And um, I use it as a kind of commentary uh, wall for the whole exhibition. Um, each piece is um, either an element that is a repetition or an addition to one of the existing works. The first one is from the work Touch Fragments and we see the same element of a modern uh, concrete formwork, but this time without the information loss. In the second uh, chase we see uh, I juxtaposed two philosophical quotes, one by Immanuel Kant, which is here in original lead type, and um, one by Achim Mbembe uh, from his book Brutalism from 2020. And um, the second one is actually printed uh, with a handgun printer that is usually used to, to print due date on some uh, materials and, and, and products. The third work is also uh, quoting uh, a sentence by Achille Mbembe from his book Brutalism, where he is referring to the, how to overcome the logic of oppositions by multiple uh, conversions, transformations, to which I also uh, refer in the exhibition and in my method of the second uh, set of works. And he finishes um, the sentence um, with a quote, a direct reference to the biosphere and the technosphere. 